cold air advection and warm air advection. Now, cold air advection is when surface winds blow across isotherms from low values to high values, or from colder temperatures to warmer temperatures. Whereas warm air advection would be the opposite of that. So you've got winds blowing across an isotherm from higher values, values to lower values, so from warm to cold. Now that's fancy definitions. Let's go through and actually look at this um, using an isotherm map. So on here you've got your 80 isotherm, and then you've got your 70, and then you've got a cold front, and the isotherms on the back side are either in the 50s or in the 60s. So you can see that the winds here in St. Louis are south-southwest and they're blowing across this isotherm so they're taking this warmer 80 degree temperatures and it's moving it towards the cooler 70 and of course eventually as you get towards closer to the front to the 50s and 60s so you're taking it from higher values to lower values warm air moving up towards the colder air now on the other side would be the opposite you got cold air advection going on where you have that colder air uh, moving in over that warmer temperatures so basically right along this boundary this this frontal boundary it's a cold front that was earlier now it's kind of turned into a stationary front and it's kind of hanging about the Kansas City area where it brought some nice amount of rainfall early this morning and made the temperatures drop quite a bit because in the morning the temperatures were in the 60s and 70s in some places and then um, once the front moved through temperatures dropped down into the 50s so it was a pretty dramatic change in temperature. So it's a pretty strong cold front that actually had moved through uh, the area. Now here's a look at the station models. This is at 1343Z, so that's 843 Central Daylight Time, and this is when the front was pretty much on top of, of Kansas City. You can see there's some thunderstorm activity listed at KCI. Look at the Look at the winds. That's that's the most important part that I was going to show you. So you have warm air advection in most of Missouri, even at KCI and Olathe, Kansas's station models all have south to southeast winds ahead of this front. And as you come back a little bit, Topeka, Topeka's winds are more shifted towards the southwest. So the front is almost on top of them. And you can tell by the temperature 69, pretty close to 70, that the front had has not passed through it. So a lot of this precipitation was ahead of the front and a little bit behind the front too. As you go back one more, Kansas and Manhattan, Kansas, there's no wind actually being reported, but you can see everywhere else around it, the temperature's already in the 56, so the front has already passed through Manhattan. So the front is somewhere between Manhattan and Topeka at 843 Central Daylight Time on September 28th. We'll go and we'll look one more time and we'll flip to the next time frame too. Go back. So now we're at 1443Z and that's 943 in the morning. So an hour has passed by and you can see the front is through Topeka. The winds have switched to the west and eventually they'll make it to the northwest. So it had just moved through. Temperatures have dropped a little bit. It was 69, now it's 61 hasn't made it through the Kansas City area just yet, but there's still some rain. At this point, the, the front had weakened quite a bit, and any thunderstorms were weakening too, and so the lightning was disappearing with it, and it was just becoming um, a nice rain along with it. So the winds have picked up behind the front. You've got some gusty winds, so that cold air advection is really rushing in at that point. So let's go back. Let's go up another time frame. Another hour has passed by. The winds that were more south southeast shifted over to southwest. Temperatures are dropped just a little bit. The front's completely through Topeka. It's basically sitting on the doorstep. Let's go one more time. And once you hit 1643, which is 1145, the front had completely made it through Kansas City. Temperatures already started to drop. You can see the winds have picked up quite a bit and the winds are west-northwest, so it was a chilly wind that had moved through. Still a little bit of rain being reported, but you can tell with that shift in the wind line, the front had passed through and now it's ushering in that cold air advection. Flip back one more time, we're going to hit, so now at 12.45 Central Daylight Time, and the temperatures are in the 50s now at 
that's the Olathe, Kansas, and the, you can barely see it as well, but the KCI is in the upper 50s. So, you know, the front's already passed through. Now, it's somewhere between Kansas City and Sedalia, because there's not any reporting stations in between. You know, it's still 70 there. The rain has made it to that location. But let's keep on continuing on into Missouri, and you can see the gusty winds that are from the south-southwest. So there's warm air advection ahead of the front and cold air advection behind the front.